Hey girl. Hello Capricorn, how are you doing? Thank you so much for watching this reading. So I am going to give my usual spiel as I'm shuffling these cards. My name is Simply Velka. I'm going to be providing your general reading for the week. Keep in mind with any type of general reading, of course, that not everything may resonate with you. That's perfectly normal. It's to be expected, right? And so I always ask you to, whenever you're watching my readings, to rely on your intuition a little bit. This is where you, that's the only part that I ask you to do, right? Because I could be talking about a relationship of some sort, but for you and your life in specific, the cards may be speaking to you and about a relationship in terms of like work, right? Or the relationship in terms of a friendship rather than something to do with a marriage. So it's really relying on you in order for you to really fully receive the blessings of this reading to just rely on your intuition. And if this reading is helpful to you, I would really appreciate for you to give me a like and subscribe because I, uh, it does help me out so much. But yeah, let me just pull for your last row right now and then we'll definitely just jump into your reading. Capricorn. Really good cards though, just right off the bat. So for your first row, I'm going to pull clarifiers as I see fit, uh, Capricorn. But for your first row, we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Temperance card. Whew. So you're coming to terms with something, Capricorn. You're coming to terms with something. You're coming to terms with somebody. You're coming to terms with a situation, a work situation, perhaps. You're coming to terms with something. Something's like that's recently disappointed you. That's what I'm getting with this Nine of Swords energy. It's like someone or something has disappointed you in the past, but it's almost like a blessing. Maybe you already see the blessing in it because you're looking, you have the Two of Wands and it's like a, you're looking forward already in the future being like, how this can, what can you do now to benefit your future? What can you do now to benefit your life rather than you've been feeding all this energy into something that is no longer fruitful, that betrayed you, that disappointed you. Now you're thinking, looking ahead into the future of like what you could do who you could invest in, what, where you could go, that'd be about more bountiful for you. The Temperance card, yeah. You're just kind of like fed up with like a situation, maybe not fed up. Oh well, yeah, yeah, you're fed up with the situation. And so you're just ready to, you're ready for a change of some sort. You're ready to change, for a change, you're ready to move on. Uh, but yeah, let's see, let's pull some clarifiers to see what's going on. Yeah, you have the hangman. So it's almost like for some people right now, you're wanting to just like, uh, it's like uh, you almost want to like throw away your old life and welcome in something new. Or it's like uh, you've given somebody, it's like you try to make something work for a long time, Capricorn. And it's just like at this point now, you're just like the hanged man. You're just like enough's enough. You're, pi you're finally just being like, I'm done trying to work this out with you. I'm done. I don't care how, often, how much you cry, how loud you scream. I'm moving on from you. Or, you know, and that's that kind of situation. Maybe you could be, this could be talking about with a boss or something. He's like, you know what? I've been trying to make it work, but justice is, it's time for justice, right? You could, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could, or just in the sense of justice and where it's just like, you're done. You realize you're just not being treated right or you're not being appreciated. And you're just now at a point where it's just like, you're done. You're done and you're now committing to your decision of being the hanged man and looking for brighter horizons for yourself. You're asking for more. You're done with giving chances to people you're done looking at red flags through red sunglasses sort of thing yeah um we have the knight of coins yeah the only thing this is something i kind of want to point out to you capricorn because i feel like this card could be upright or inverted for you either way either or for you this energy i also want to i associate the knight cards when it comes to like youthful energy and so when you have the knight of coins i almost feels like their spirits trying to warn you just like yeah it's good to look at those horizons right now right well it's good to pay attention to your potential but don't be too bold right let's not be hasty in this i keep wait for the perfect timing sort of thing that's why i keep on hearing as well wait for the perfect timing don't just like uh yeah you can be sick of it you can be that hanged man committing to your decision but just because you're committing to your decision does not necessarily mean that you need to take action right away um, for your second row, we have the Judgment card again. So definitely, this is like a karmic cycle coming into a completion. So um, this is, can be good or bad, you know. I can't just sit here and pretend, the Capricorn, that uh, we're all perfect that's receiving this reading, right? Ideally, like, my people were all good people, right? But let's just be real. You know, maybe if there was like a certain point where we just were feeding a bunch of like lower vibrational energy at one point, the, there's like a cycle completing, I feel. There's justice, like everyone is kind of getting theirs. So it's just like, you're finally 
able to see the crops that you've grown through the investments that you put in for throughout this entire time or if it's pertaining to a person like you're just finally laying down justice and being like look you deserve better right so it could be justice in two different ways but justice card came out for for you two different times so it's very interesting to it's just an interesting observation to think about but with the four of swords like you're carrying a coffin with a group of people so this is almost again showing to me it's just like you recently you and your you and your people had to get rid of somebody or like let go of somebody or justice had to be served to somebody in your group and now the queen of disc now you're going back to uh, figure out your worth a little bit. Maybe this situation shook you up a little bit. Now you're just like, you know, like you got theirs. Like they, you're, they're pretty much how I'm in receiving this reading, Capricorn. It's just like whoever like wronged you, whoever was wronged in some type of situation, justice is going to come and they're going to get theirs. And like, yeah, I don't feel like it's you, Capricorn. You know how I was just being like, oh, I don't want to pretend like we're all perfect, right? That's receiving this reading. But I feel like the majority, uh, it's we're going to be the fool i say we as if i'm the capricorn as well but like when you have the fool card and the hanged man you're committing to your decision and it's going to be fruitful it's going to be bountiful the only thing is like you don't want to be the fool and try to lay justice out yourself you kind of you, you know like the fool just handles himself he handles his hustle judgment let, allow spirit allow the higher power to lay judgment you don't have to be the one responsible for it because the moment you try to take responsibility for justice serving justice that's when you're you're burying yourself right focus on you and you and yours focus on your money focus on your abundance focus on what it is that you're trying to create because we have that fool card this is a good time for you you're clearing up all this space you're not getting rid of somebody just to feed more energy into them by trying to get rid of does that make sense so it's like if you get, try to get rid of somebody in your life but then you end up arguing with them or fighting with them for weeks after even though you're not friends it's like okay like you're wasting more energy now when you stopped being their friend than you were when you were their friend sort of thing does that make sense uh, so don't get caught up in like uh, toxic loops. Just commit to your decision and don't fall back anymore. Stop stop finding excuses for people. Stop finding excuses for other people. Stop finding excuses for yourself of why you stay in a situation. Whatever, stop finding excuses. Yeah, the lover's card came forward. You need to make the decision, but also this could just be a signifier as like, this is like a new energy coming forward to you. Page of Cups as well. Yeah, definitely like a new energy coming forward to you. So I feel like a lot of people, a lot of Capricorns are trying to move on from somebody, which makes sense. Maybe like you had to move on from a certain friend group or whatever. And that's why you have that Four of Swords and like the Judgment cards coming in back and back and back over and over and over with the uh, Nine of Swords as well, like that disappointment. Someone disappointed you in your friend circle, in your soul circle, you had to move on from them. Like they wronged you in some type of way or you felt wrong in some type of way. And now you're just like moving on from it. You could see the bet you could see their potential. That's the thing. I feel like you could see their potential, Capricorn, but you just like at this point now you're just like done. Uh your last row, five of fire, competing goals, bothersome, conflict with others. So yeah, just another emphasis in this week for you, Capricorn, that's just like this is the week for you, Capricorn, to really just lay down the law and just put up your boundaries um king of earth successful time in terms of like your own personal investments yeah cut off things that are draining your energy so then you can put proper investments back into like what it is that you're trying to create what is it that you're trying to attract in your life are you trying to are you trying to attract a, new, a lover in your life someone that's fulfilling you know get rid of th the things that weigh you down that stop you so if it's like you're hung up on a person cut off that person because this lover person is not going to come forward to you until you cut off that thing does that make sense Ten of Fire. I always associate tens with closure or something. Ten of Fire is talking about too much work and too much going on at once, the need for balance. So yeah, balance, again, like, I feel like is a common theme for you, Capricorn, uh, during all this is just like, don't make a rash decision necessarily. But just because like you don't make a decision right now to close things off, you still want to keep it in your mind. You don't just like keep it in your back of your mind and then forget about it and you just end up in that same toxic loop for another year or two, right? Uh, step on some toes right there. Uh, but yeah, the nine of coins as well. Like, this is such a push for you to just invest in yourself rather than other people. Capricorn, the last card. Your eight of coins. Uh, yeah, this is just such a time for you to invest in yourself, Capricorn. Stop trying to involve other people right now. This is a time for you and to think about yourself. It's time for you to set boundaries for yourself um, and to protect your energy and to protect what it is that you're trying to create, you know? Stop giving second chances to people that don't deserve it. 
step out of your comfort zone north no yeah it's going to be uncomfortable letting go of this person or letting go of this um environment letting go of this like connection of whatever this is for you but a new start is coming a new moon new start is coming for you so it's going to be easy like you're going to do this that's why this new start is coming because you're letting go of this person you're allowing justice to go to allow justice to play out fully but you're not going to be the one holding it the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon so yeah i feel like this is like a build-up or something this is nothing new for a lot of you capricorns this can, this type of relationship this dynamic of what's going on this has been building up for a while now obviously because you've been ignoring the red flags for a long time and so you've just been building up and now you have to also be careful now that you've been holding on to it for so long so long capricorn you don't want to just blow up on this person you kind of just yeah i don't know the goose car is time to take a rest this is just such a time for you capricorn to just like associate this like assess the situation take it up take on all the information and then just keep it moving don't wallow don't just sink yourself into these toxic loops because justice is going to come to those that it needs to come to sort, sort of thing but you're not going to be the one that lays justice you're going to be the one already focusing focusing on your abundance focusing on your con like you're focusing on you you're investing in you rather than investing energy into other things that you're no longer trying to connect with energy balance another balance card yeah basically capricorn don't let other people don't let other forces outside forces influence you and weigh you down this week capricorn that's really the reading that i have for you that's messages that i have for you capricorn I hope this reading was helpful to you though. If it was, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe. Remember to do that. But I love you so much and I can't wait to connect with you soon again, Capricorn. Bye.